Welcome everyone. Today, we will continue our Anoplan Expert series by exploring the powerful features of Anoplan line item subsets and how they can help us streamline our data analysis. Let's dive in. So what are line item subsets? Line item subsets are an essential tool in Anoplan for focusing on and interacting with specific sets of line items within a model. They allow us to easily filter and analyze relevant data, reducing complexity and increasing efficiency. By utilizing line item subsets, we can zoom in on the data that matters most, making it easier to understand and interpret our models. In addition to narrowing down line items within a single module, we can also pull them from different modules. This functionality proves invaluable when we want to analyze data across multiple scenarios or versions. By creating subsets that include line items from different modules, we can quickly identify patterns, variances, and trends gaining valuable insights into our business operations. The most powerful function to utilize line item subsets is the collect function. This function allows us to aggregate data from multiple dimensions into a single line item subset. By using the collect function, we can consolidate information from different levels of granularity, providing a comprehensive view of our data. It simplifies analysis and enhances decision-making capabilities. Next, I'll demonstrate creating a currency conversion with line item subsets. Here is our page depicting a currency conversion. In each of the two grids below, we show the compensation amount for each employee under each compensation type. On the left side grid, this is reported in US dollars. On the right side grid, it's reported in Canadian dollars. A dashboard like this is imperative for tracking international finance from each side of an exchange. Now, let's talk about how we can build this dashboard with line item subsets. The first step in the currency conversion process is to initialize our line item subsets from a different module. As seen in the screenshot, we have selected our desired line items from our calculation module. That is base salary, promotion expense, and merit expense. We have now created the line item subset. Next, we create an exchange rate module. This simply holds data on the current exchange rate for the currencies in our model relative to the American dollar. For example, here, we maintain that one US dollar is worth 1.33 Canadian dollars. Exchange rate data can easily be found online from numerous sources. Last, we have the reporting module. The first line item, reporting in USD, uses the collect function to bring in the compensation amount from our calculation module. Finally, the conversion line item takes that amount and multiplies it by the exchange rate we kept in the other module to report our final number. We also look up which currency the given employee should be maintained at. And that's all. As you can see, the, the conversion was created successfully. Line item subsets has allowed us to complete an essential business operation with very little effort. Let's now focus on constructing ad hoc reports. We'll compare building them with line item subsets to more traditional methods. First, a demonstration. On this dashboard, we can create and export compensation data to external software such as Excel. In this demonstration, we will create a report for our employees base salary, promotion expense, and merit expense. With logic driven by line item subsets, we can easily select which employees and which compensation details to include. To do so, we simply select the employees with the checkboxes and do the same for our compensation types. A preview of the file we will generate is shown in the grid below. Now, we click on Export Compensation and our report has been created. Here is that report opened in Excel. The employees we selected and the compensation types are both populated accurately. We now have an additional method to analyze our data stored in Anaplan. Now let's compare the line item subset method we used to create that report with more traditional methods. Before, the user would need to create multiple new lists and modules that utilize complex functions to select the correct line items. This is a lot of effort and furthermore adds complexity to the model that decreases its efficiency. By using line item subsets, the user would simply need to create the subset and an input module and the export is ready to be created. This is a lot less effort, and the model is less complex as a result. Moving along, line item subsets can also be used to apply growth percentages, convert invoice amounts to cash, and analyze multiple scenarios within a model. All of these tasks are instrumental in the business process and showcase the ability of line item subsets to stream on your data analysis. Thank you so much for watching another Anaplan Expert Series video. If you want to learn more about line item subsets or other data analysis solutions, please visit techlink.com. Have a wonderful day.